Uh, this is the turn. Uh, PGA Tours, YouTube, and social channels. What is it? They're following guys that miss cuts, trying to keep their cards. You're in missing the cut, are you? No, first week, four guys, four missed cuts. Great, riveting content. Oh, OK. Time to solidify my spot in the top 125. feel like I'm in a really good place, mentally and physically, coming into the fall. I'm excited to get back and re-challenge myself. There's going to be at least a couple more opportunities, I think, but I could only get in one more tournament. I don't know. Struggling to get off to a good start. I was no bueno. Uh, yesterday, three over early. Today, three over early. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm too worried about wanting to play well. I think it's getting in the way. Today was some of the most fun I've had on the golf course. And then about 10 minutes ago, some of the least fun I've had on the golf course. So we're just going to freaking peel, cut it into oblivion. Just an array of emotion. Really disappointing. I hate missing cards. I think it's a good perspective of kind of how hard it is out here and what guys are doing. Like, it's so easy to be positive and good when you're making parts and hitting it good and it doesn't come as easy, like, you know, to what people think. Like, everyone looks at all these superstars and, you know, sees all the, the luxuries and that, but, you know, there's a lot of sucky times out there and it's, it's hard. It's disappointing. You have so many disappointments and, and you, it showed a pretty big perspective of that, not just me, but other players. And, you know, it's, it, it was, yeah, it's, it's a really good insight, you know. When I was a kid, I wanted to be over here more than anything. And I wanted to go play the tour with my, my idols and, and all that. And then I'd be the first to admit I got out here and forgot very quickly a lot of new things, like more money and partying and enjoying yourself like that. I was losing what this game really meant for me. I made the decision to get sober. Alcohol took me to a dark area and having that time off after Wyndham was the best thing that could have ever happened. That first month of doing that was pretty tough and the body, the mind's trying to figure out <laughs> how to do things differently and I'm finding the enjoyment side of the game. So it was a wheel of three feet, so you gotta make it three times in a row and you gotta make 12 putts in a row. Yeah, that's the hardest part. That's the hardest part. When I miss my 12th putt, I had to start over. I only had to make that one, didn't I? Yeah, you're done. Oh, you kidding? Take you half an hour? Could take you an hour. <laughs> Hopefully, it didn't take that long. It's always the last part, too. But it's, they're not like it's a bad part. Too much brush. I'm just getting hungry. It's been a long day. And that drill's complete. Didn't take an hour this time. Oh, thank God. I thought I was going to be here until the first tee tomorrow, baby. Jackson, are you one of these kids that's going to hit it further than me? Probably not. And it just looks like there's Probably no not. way? Probably not. I just hope you hit it straighter. I think we're on the Cypress course in Jackson, Mississippi at the Sanderson Farms Championship. This is the day before the first round. It's kind of like a junior pro-am. So that's the last good one you'll see today, probably. What's your best score? In a tournament. Don't care. Hopefully your best score came in a tournament, and then that will let me know that you're a dog. Well, my best score in a tournament is 68. Ooh. <laughs> On the front nine or back? <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> We're doing gimmies, aren't we? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I just feel like that's a waste of time, right? I missed about six of those in Napa, so probably should be putting them. You want me to ship another one by you or no? You can, go ahead. OK. Just making sure. I had a couple good weeks of work and same expectations. I want to have a chance to win a golf tournament on Sunday afternoon. I love that feeling. It's the way I, why I play golf. Oh, Mr. 68 is absolutely dialed today. Good shot. Nice. nice. Swing. The range, you go here and find something wrong. <laughs> How we doing? I worked with uh, Neil Smith, sports psychologist, a couple years ago. So I gave him a call. We uh, 
really grind on why I'm getting so down on myself. Because the game's good. I'm not worried about the game. It's just learning to take it easy on myself. You know, the pressure I'm putting on myself is unwarranted. I don't need to. And the luxury of having an exemption next year still if I need it. So no need to beat myself up on pressure. <laughs> Actually, it feels like I know what I'm doing there. Ice bath. Wish me luck. Just took it kind of like a lot of the positives, try to build on it, and then, you know, obviously try to improve the weaknesses. Like I was working a lot on my putting just because that was a weakness, and I feel like it's improved a lot over the last two weeks. I think I was next to dead last in putting, and I was really embarrassed about that. Yeah, you just gotta kind of reset and just putt. <laughs> it took me a while, and I realized I have a completely different mindset to a lot of veteran guys in the wrong way. I think that's what separates the big guys from, you know, guys like me who are, you know, really, really grinding out there. It's just because these guys have just got such a, a strong, positive mindset and just trust it's going to happen eventually. And I had to reevaluate how I think and positive when shit's hitting the fan, really. Morning, girls. Ah, oh, boy. Weenie. You got pumpkins on your shirt, Weenie? Daddy's about to have to go play golf. Go, Daddy, to have fun today. Love you, sweet thing. Love you, Weenie. I love you, Daddy. Oh, Aww. Butterfly kisses? Mm. What about Eskimo kisses? Eskimo, whoa. Love you, sweet girls. Love you, Mama. Bye. What's up? Now we're back. I got two, and then I got one on the way. All girls. Now, I will say there's a brashness side of me that I think is softening with girls, but we're not all the way there yet. The sarcastic side of me is probably going to have to die as well as the girls start to get older. But there's way more to life than a score on the scorecard. Y'all have a great day. You have a special day. I always have special days. Always end on a terrible one. Next one's got to be better, right? What's up, Con? How are you? Sarge? Looking I didn't, good. I didn't think you were going to make it up this morning. I've been up since 6. Why? Because I had to come watch my boy. Yeah. Yeah. The greatest host in the world. This is the H-17 Tea Time, playing out of Columbia, South Carolina. Wesley Bryan. Mud ball. Spit, Spit it out. It. Spit it out. That's just so dumb. This game is a stupid game. This is why they could have a like, PJ Field combine. Do you, do you have any room to get a little run and start? <laughs> well, this just looks like more fun. Right. That, that was good. There. I just need to know, like on the left side of the bunker, how much room there is between like the top of that and the green. I heard one gray. Oh, I, I hear claps. Now what? Yeah, this will yeah, like 25 feet back right. Love that. I think this more than anything. Don't sink any more than that. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, no. What a disaster. Oh, no. I mean, that's so gross. <laughs> You could go and get me a pair of pants and some underwear. I'm being really serious. 
Turn around. Show it. Show it back. He sees me and I hear, Connie, I need some clothes. So I ran home and got him some new pants and socks, underwear. And I found one pair of pants and they were wrinkled. And I was like, he can't be on camera wrinkled. So I got the power steamer and steamed them <laughs> and ran back over here. I was getting so result oriented and worried about Oh my gosh, I'm five back already on Thursday. This, this guy shot this. Instead of just playing the game, hitting the shots, you know, having a plan on each shot. The game's, it's there. That's it. Feels nice, real nice. Well, that was something. When you wake up, you just don't like, you don't really know what the day's gonna hold, but I felt like I was gonna end in the same pair of pants that I started in. And I guess I was wrong. No bogeys on the scorecard. Good day. Now it's time to go get some food, go take a nap, play some video games, do it all again tomorrow. really pleased with the way I played. My course management was good. I mean, it's nice to come out back out on tour and have something bogey free. And you know, it just it tells me internally it's not far away. Um, you know, I'm not saying that I'm gonna go bogey free this week, but you know, you're not gonna be far away if I keep playing the way I am. Yeah, it's fine. Look at that thing go. It's fine. I did not deserve that after that tee shot. Like, it was a hundred times better tee shot than where that ended up. The ones I missed wasn't like they were bad parts, so I just did some weird things. It's gone the other way, Dave. <sighs> Why does my putts do so many different things to everybody else's on the same line? I'll be ready to go tomorrow morning. Okay. 47. Oh, huh, look at this. Look at your head. Drop class 101. Good break with the sprinkler here. Mm -hmm. Relief, a little weight lifted, I guess. That's a better feeling. Good playing. Thanks. Bogey free, huh? Yeah. That's always awesome. nice. That's good on this board. Yeah. Especially where I was came from. <laughs> I'm gonna close my door, I'm gonna lock it, not slam it. So that's a good start. Didn't think about golf between shots. We had some laughs, talked about everything, and uh, that's what kind of keeps you loose and mentally fresh. It's literally still dark. Beautiful morning in Jackson. Don't listen to our weather man out here. Probably tucked away in bed anyways. My caddy actually talked me into hitting a little dead arm sand wedge. I, well, I was leaning towards a bit more of a solid 60 and he was a bit of afraid that it was gonna spin off the front. So we, we took a little bit more. God, dude. All right. That's how you speed up, Paris. That's how you speed up. Great shot. Thank you. I haven't hold out for a while, so hopefully that keeps going. A little outside of the top 125, is that on your mind? Obviously, I'd be lying to say this wasn't. I've just been, you know, really focused on what I'm trying to do right now. It was great to just come out and play well. I haven't played well for a long time. Oh, so it's better to have a job on the weekend. Well, that's what I said to my caddy. I was like, it's nice to have a job on the weekend. <laughs> I was getting sick of uh, flying home on Friday nights. Gosh, just cut a I mean, that was 
Boosted. Nice. Ooh. Big hop, too. Sheesh. It's just getting comfortable. It's just knowing I've got the line. Fish up. Fish up. Excuse me a minute to get there, but I'm getting a... One little thing creeps in there of, if I look up and I feel like I'm left, okay, now I'll back off now. Instead, normally I may just hit it. So that's why I, uh, I'll take a quick back off and take a couple of seconds to confirm where I want to go and the shot I'm going to hit. And you got to be precise out here, that's for sure. And uh, little things can creep up and, uh, you know, I've held it pretty good so far. Some moments on the front, I probably would have gotten to me more the last few weeks, didn't. Palmer is outside of the top 150, which right now does not give him that security of knowing he can play his way into a full schedule next season. Good shot that just fell left and then lucky. Nice chip. Now we go try to win the golf tournament. I can't go this way, so I gotta get it up too high to keep coming out. Like I can start it at that person and the blue. Okay. And I can start it over the left center of this bunker. Looks like the best option. Yeah. I guess I'll just go ahead. Gosh, I just I hammered it. Sit. Jeez. Oh. 68 right. round two, but his pants are clean. Now they're Wesley. You're watching play, man. You said? Thanks, guys. Hey, Wesley. Hey, sir. Sir. Yeah. Sir, <laughs> can we take a selfie? Dude. No, we want to take a selfie. <laughs> 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 See you at dinner. Man of the people. All three guys have made the cut. Who's not here? Uh, Austin Eckrow. I mean, I appreciate it. That's probably part of the reason I got in, because people like him didn't play. So appreciate you, Austin. Um, well, that's good. Y'all got y'all actually get to work on weekends. This is great. Great news. All right. Big chili pepper. Big chili. All right. No, I'm getting any rain today, so I'll throw the umbrella out. How's it going? Look? Moving day, game day. What a beautiful one. Giggle mags. Let's go. It's just golf, you know. I'd rather an afternoon tea time than a morning one, especially on the weekend. What's going on, boss? Our second and final player off the tee today, playing out of Sydney, Australia, Harrison Indicott. Catch it, Wayne. Come on. Left kick. Just a few loose swings of the driver coming out of stretch. Um, I know why I hit the bad shots and know what happened. Oh, I felt that one. Shoot two a par on Saturday is always a good thing, so. Get around tomorrow. It's a huge week uh, moving into Las Vegas next week. Oh boy. You explained to me how that came out like nine months ago. You know, on the toe? No, it's per perfectly solid. I mean, I just know I let a few slip away out there that were little momentum keepers. Had a good look at par, didn't make it, and there you go. There's six shots just thrown away on the back nine, so it sucks. I mean, I want a chance to win tomorrow, and by golly, that's gonna take something borderline miraculous.
plus one on his rounds so far and not happy with that effort. Wind all over the place and we had possibly the worst possible number for that shot that I want to hit. Like, I just think Wedge was too steery. Gap Wedge was always going to end there. It's just been a bit that day today. Have I even had the honour today? Wow. Did he, did Benny just played that good? It sucks. We have not had a lot go our way today. I, I just, you know what I mean? I'm thinking of just hitting like, go down the shaft on a six iron. He's got a low hook and shot right. off a downhill line ball below okay. his feet, which makes this very difficult, but he, it's doable. He says, finally! Oh, hey, mate, what's going on? Today was a tough day, but you handled it really well. And that last five just shows where we're heading. That's, that's, that's what I hold on to, the last five holes. When you make something like that happen, that's that's the drug of this game. Like that's what every 20 handicapper why he turns up tomorrow. Like it's like that part got me excited to go again tomorrow and go try again tomorrow. We got a new challenge. Tomorrow, let's just get off to a good warm up, you know, and, and just play golf. Yeah. Just get out of our own way. I don't want you to change a single thing, mate. It was tentative, and, you know, for obvious reasons. So uh, tomorrow, let's just play. Let's play. I know it's not the result I wanted to go into today, into tomorrow, but, you know, that will come. That's a bit of pressure. The tendency is always to leave the Yeah. Probably one of the prettiest days we've had all year. It's nice not uh, having to get up super early this morning. Hopefully make some birds. Climb the leaderboard a little bit. Thank you. You're welcome. You're good. I'll need to. My family's relying on it. <laughs> Chance of winning are slim, but far back we are, but you never know what happens on Sunday, so see we shoot at the end of the day. That's all I can do. Well, it's still my day, I mean. You're gonna have like an iron and come over there, right? Just front footer and just make sure we're getting it up over that roof. Yeah. Where'd that go? Great. Huh? Perfect. I'll take mine. I've got a bit of stolen on it to get for it. Yeah, I mean. Not there. Uh. 119. Right. Boys, one little limb. This is for it. Left kick and go in the rough. Still left. Sweet, I'd love to nestle down in that rough right there again. That sounds so much fun. Come on. Thank you. Uh, 
you know you don't have to ask me twice to be here. I love the golf course, I love the food, I love the people, I love the place. There's absolutely a lot more than just golf. Especially when it's beating you up a little bit. Right now it's beating me up a touch. But, I mean, there are a lot of positives to take away from this week. I mean, maybe cut, which is good. But on a weekend off would have been kind of nice. Knowing that we're gonna finish 65th place. <laughs> you got all like two and a half, three FedEx cut points out of it. There are positives. I'm just probably a little Debbie Downer right now, for sure. Sucks, okay. sucks playing bad. God, it'd be great if the putter would snap. Thank you. Gonna go do this Monday and then Got the Monday for Mexico, and the week after that, going to Bermuda to film for a few days with my brother and whole continent side. And then gonna be playing in Bermuda. I guess that's in November, so I don't know. After that, who knows? Bad round. See you next week. Overall, like, can't be too mad. I play golf for a living. It's a pretty good job, you know? I get to go to Las Vegas tonight to do it all again. I'll take this pressure any day of the week than sitting behind a desk, so it's, I guess that's kind of when you put it in perspective. See you guys, see you next week.